Good evening, I'm Lauren Moss. We start with team coverage of the latest details on the impacts of the coronavirus as it continues to spread in the U.S. Our Mark Peterson is live in the studio with a market watch as stocks plummeted today as concerns over the coronavirus become more widespread. But first, let's get the latest details on how Michiana hospitals are responding to the spread of the coronavirus and the flu. 16 News Now reporter Ibrahim Samras live outside Memorial Hospital in South Bend with how Beacon Health is preparing to handle it. Ibrahim. Lauren, Beacon Health System put out some new guidelines over the weekend, limiting access, visitor access in and out of their hospitals. And, and the goal really is to keep a, a safe and healthy environment for everyone, including staff, visitors, and patients right here at Memorial Hospital. Here at Memorial Hospital in South Bend, nurses are doing what they normally do, helping their patients and keeping things clean. What's different, though, is this, a set of new visitor access guidelines. Why? Medical Affairs VP Dale Patterson explains. We implemented visitor restrictions on Friday to try to keep the hospital safe for everyone who's a patient and those who are coming to visit the patients here in the hospital in light of the coronavirus. Those guidelines include no more than two healthy visitors per patient. You must be 18 years or older, and those looking to connect with their loved ones at the hospital are asked to do so remotely from home if possible. It would be great if people could connect through FaceTime or other apps uh, through their iPads and their their cell phones and stop coming to the hospitals, particularly if they're young uh, children and if they have cold or flu-like symptoms, we would want them to stay home. Now, Patterson says if the coronavirus does reach Memorial Hospital, they're prepared. At Memorial in particular, uh, we're designating particular rooms where we will care for patients who potentially have uh, coronavirus or other infectious diseases. We're ramping up our efforts to be ready to care for more people than we usually can who have that. And while Patterson says the guidelines will help maintain a clean and healthy environment for visitors, patients and staff, the most important thing to do right now is to remain calm. The biggest thing we want people right now to know is, is to stay calm. We know that most people who get this will recover and very few will need to be in the hospital, but we want them to know from the hospital's perspective, those people that do need to be in the hospital, we're ready and we will be able to take care of them when they get here. Now, Beacon Health will also be preparing uh, staff here with proper gear and cleaning supplies in case they see an increase in the, in the number of patients they're seeing. Here live in South Bend, Ibrahim Samra, 16 News Now.